With the last flight of Atlantis in June, the shuttle era will come to an end. But they won't stop inspiring, and they won't stop being a part of the fabric of America. Its significance as one of the most amazing technological marvels of all time will become even more evident after we no longer have it as our premier vehicle for transportation of crew and cargo to low Earth orbit. Each shuttle has stories to be told, history to be shared. We intend to tell their stories and share that history with as many people as we can over the coming years and decades. Today, I'm proud to announce where these national treasures will be displayed and enjoyed by millions of Americans once the shuttle program concludes. First, here at the Kennedy Space Center, where every shuttle mission and so many other historic I guess I got something right today. Thanks very much. <laughs> I think I know what it does for you. You have no idea what that applause did for me. It's been a rough day. <laughs> First, here at the Kennedy Space Center, where every shuttle mission and so many other historic human space flights have originated, we'll showcase my, showcase my old friend Atlantis. Not only will the workers who sent it into space so many times have a chance to still see it, the millions of visitors who come here every year to learn more about space and to be a part of the excitement of you all got <laughs> and to be a part of the excitement of exploration will be able to see what is still a great rarity, an actual flown space vehicle. The California Science Center in Los Angeles, only a few miles from the site of the old Rockwell plant, where the shuttle was developed and from where its construction was managed, will be the new home of the shuttle on the launch pad, preparing its final mission, Endeavor. <laughs> the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum, Stephen F. Udvarhazy Center in Virginia, will get Discovery, our most traveled orbiter. <laughs> and New York City's intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum, on whose flight deck Mercury and Gemini modules and flight crews were returned to us after splashdown from their historic space missions, will get Enterprise our prototype orbiter that tested the aerodynamics of the craft before it flew into space. There were many, many worthy institutions that requested an orbiter, and only four to go around. Many of the applicant institutions who did not receive an orbiter will receive significant shuttle hardware and artifacts to help bring to life this dynamic chapter of our nation's space exploration history for their many visitors. People from across our nation and around the world will continue to learn from these amazing vehicles and the stories of their crews and their missions. The shuttles will inspire many people who are now just in school to become the next generation of ex exploration leaders and millions more who are just proud and passionate about our space program will also now have a chance to see a space shuttle in person. I want to congratulate all of these fine institutions and wish them many visitors and exciting programs with the Space Shuttle fleet. For all of them, take good care of our vehicles. They've served the nation well, and we at NASA have a deep and abiding relationship and love affair with them that's hard to put into words. Now, we're going to look ahead to Endeavor's final mission into space, STS-134. Thank you all again for your service and support to this amazing program and to these amazing flying machines. And thank all of you for your dedicated service to our great nation. Stay focused. 
as I look at Mike Moses and I look around at the others of you, he's going to remind us over the coming days, stay focused. We've got two more flights to do so that we can safely fly out the shuttle. Stay focused. You've done an incredible job. You should feel incredibly proud. I know I do. May God bless all of you and your families, and may God bless the United States of America.